Abilities, abilities, abilities. What are your abilities? What do you have on him? What is your ability? What did you put on him? Abilities. What are your abilities you're using? Offense, defense, exclamation point, abilities, abilities, abilities. That's all they ever ask me. Boys, let's talk about abilities, man. I want to help you guys. It's a question I get all the time. And literally, I've, I've had pretty similar abilities all year. They haven't changed too much. They haven't changed a lot. And, and defensively, they definitely haven't changed. But we'll talk about it. You guys want to watch me play live, twitch.tv slash dub that. I want to keep this short because this is going to be what I reference when people ask me that ability question. What's your abilities? What's your abilities? What's your abilities? They've changed a little bit on offense. Defensively, they're the same. Let's talk about it. Let's be about it. Here we go. Right to the team right now. We're going to start on defense because that stays the same all the time. Six acrobats, two unpredictables. Unpredictable is not the best. It's not the best pass rushing ability. I'm sure edge threat, uh, pass rush elite, something like that is, is way more effective. But for me, for one AP, you see I have it on Jason Taylor right now. Unpredictable is the best value for pass rushing if you guys want to use a pass rushing ability. Shed wins are less likely to add blocker resistance. Don't know what that means, but that's what I use. So uh, those, and I have two of those. That's two of my 14 AP. Before the AP limit, all I had was six acrobats. And the other guys are all acrobats. My two outside corners, Patrick Sertain right now. And I believe uh, Ronnie Lott is my other corner. Those are outside guys. Safeties, I have Derwin James. And I have Ed Reed. Those are my safeties. And then my two linebackers that play in the box. Um, Jamal Adams and Cam Chancellor all have acrobat. Now, this is pretty easy to me. There's a lot of great abilities. Comment below what abilities you use. But for me, mid-zone knockout, knockout, uh, other things like that, secure tackler, they're, they're great. They really are. But for me, acrobat gets you the football. And if it's one thing you want, it's the football. You know, if, if you can have an ability on the field that can go ahead and, and turn the ball over, get you possessions in such a short game, that's what's most important. Although your mid zone might work, your zone might play better, they might get a better jump on the ball. I agree. I understand that. But is it getting you turnovers? Because that's what you want, man. You guys know, just like real football, Madden comes down to turnovers. You cannot win the game if you turn the ball over. And you will have a way higher chance to win if you can generate some turnovers. Although, my zones might not be as good because I don't have any zone abilities. People might catch the ball because I don't have knockout abilities. My pass rush is okay, but it's not as good as it could be for abilities. Maybe people will miss, make me miss and truck my players because I don't have secure tackler but if I generate one turnover, if that acrobat lights up one time a game, that'll change and put the game in my favor. Because not only will it, will it, you know, make them scared to throw, it'll get me the football. And if you get the football, you can win games. That's why I like acrobat over any other defensive ability, because it gets the football, period. That's why I've had it all year. That's why it can't really leave the field, in my opinion, man. You want to give yourself the best opportunity to get turnovers so that's defense that's the easy part offensively you guys might it might be a little bit tougher for you guys but let's talk about it this is where your play style is going to come into come into play a lot more your play style will come into play but let's talk about offense okay now number one you got to start with the head of the snake the quarterback all i've used all year is one pass or one passing ability set feet a lead pass lead a lead or gunslinger all put more zip on the ball all make it easier and faster for the ball to get from point a to point b what does that mean that means the defense will be slower to react that means uh you can be a little bit more late with your reads you don't have to be as precise because the ball is traveling so much faster the windows don't have to be as big it's just it's easier to pass so that's why i do i don't have any accuracy abilities roaming uh dashing uh long range dead eye anything like that I'm, i don't i don't think it's necessary i just rock gunslinger that's what i rock now they fixed omaha but i might get rid of it but eh, we'll see as far as x factor but uh like i said i've just used gunslinger pass lead elite if you like dan marino if you like hot route master that's all preference me myself i like the routes the game gives me slants and streaks and and drags and ins and out that's enough for me for the most part so far. 
Now, another ability I've had all year and I love is Halfback Master. Halfback Master, I use Alvin Kamara because he's a receiving back, so that lowers his salary cap on the Halfback Master. Now, have what Halfback Master is, is it's more hot routes and improved catching from the backfield. There is no such thing as improved. Improved catching means he catches the ball. If it, hits, if it hits his hands and he's not in the air, if his feet are on the ground, whether it's a rack catch or a possession catch, he's going to catch the ball 100%. That's what's good about abilities. You put it on there because you want Alvin Kamara to catch the ball every time you throw it to him. That's why I use that. And more hot routes, I like the angle route to the running back. It's it, You guys know the angle route to the running back. It's annoying, and it's a, it's a great route. So And it's only one AP on receiving backs like Alvin Kamara. So I definitely slapped that on him. That's why I use a uh, backfield master. If I had high route master, maybe I wouldn't use that because I wouldn't, I've already, I would already have the routes, but uh, those are two abilities gunslinger and halfback master. I've pretty much have had all year. Those two right there. So those two are locks. Now it goes, okay, what do I like on my wide receivers? Now I will tell you, I, I'm going to go out here. Gunslinger is probably the best ability in the game. Second best ability in the game here is deep out elite. Improve catching on deep passes outside the numbers. Now, uh, as it's written, you know, it's just outside the numbers, which is just probably a half of the field, only outside streaks and things like that. I will tell you this ability is broken. It's broken. It's not outside the numbers. It's literally deep passes anywhere on the field. Uh, they will catch it 100% of the time. And uh, on top of that, not only deep, you think it's like a 40-yard pass. No, it's like 15-plus. So any pass... That's 15 plus, your dude is going to catch automatically. So, I mean, I think it's a no brainer to put this on as many wide receivers as you can. And it's only one AP. And for route runners and for deep threats, it's one AP. So I have it on Keyshawn Johnson and I have it on Robbie Anderson. And in fact, I also have it on my tight end, Kyle Pitts, because he'll run down the seam and it's the deep out elite, even though he's not outside the numbers. So I have three of those on my team, Kyle Pitts, Robbie Anderson, Keyshawn Johnson. Uh, and I also have route tech on Keyshawn Johnson. I put him in the slot. I feel like a route tech on your field, uh, you can move him around. The thing about being an offensive player, you can put your players anywhere you want. So having one route tech, you see this Keyshawn Johnson is just absurd ratings. Having one route tech, even if someone runs man, I can move them all over the field that way. Uh, you'll never really get stopped by man. You have this super wide receiver in Keyshawn Johnson. Then you got the halfback master in Alvin Kamara. So between those guys, you're not really going to get stopped by man that much. And that's why I like to just sneak that one route tech on there. Route running archetype is only 2 AP. Got to use it. Got to love it. Then on Brandon Marshall, I have nightmare matchup or matchup nightmare, 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 having nightmares. Uh, the only reason I have nightmare mat or <laughs> matchup nightmare is because he's a physical wide receiver. So if you look, his deep out elite is two AP. So it's more and and I think matchup nightmare is kind of. I, I think it's kind of a budget deep out elite. This dude just has never dropped a pass with matchup nightmare. I I think it's glitched. You know I don't know. Uh, I think I'm, people are just obsessed with is that ability lighting up and Brandon Marshall matchup nightmare always lights up. So. That's why I have that. Now, if you told me where does where does my AP change, that's probably where it would be, that matchup nightmare, maybe my deep out on tight end. But as far as wide receiver, quarterback, these guys are all pretty much locked. Then, offensive line. This is how I feel. I don't know how you guys feel, but it's just like it, this is where real football comparison comes in. If you can get shedded, if someone can rush two and three people and get to your quarterback, you will never be successful on offense. I don't care how many route combos you have, how many great receivers you have. If you cannot block two and three people, you will not have a successful offense. Uh, if someone is blitzing you and stopping you, that's that's different. I mean, you know, they're bringing more people than you can block. That's a schematic thing. But... If you're getting shedded by two and three people, that's a physical thing. That's why I always like to have at least one post up. Now, on paper, it's stupid that I had to spend some of my salary cap to make sure a double team doesn't get beat. But it's worth it to me because, like I said, if you can't block three people, you'll never have a successful offense in any level of football, including the virtual gridiron. So for me, I feel like if, if someone's going to rush two and three, I want to make sure I have all day. You know, that defense will not be effective versus me because I have the post up. Now, in a perfect world, I would like two post ups. 
but if I have one, I'm going to put it on the center. And people say, why the center? Well, because that way it protects right up the gut. You know, if you get shedded from the left or the right, you can roll out, you run away. But if you get shedded right in your face, that's going to be a nightmare for your quarterback. So you want to get that double team at the point of attack super strong. Also, that way you can step up in the pocket, uh, maybe scramble. And if you do get sacked, it's only a two or three yard loss. You want to be able to stand in the pocket safely and not get shedded right up the gut. If I had two post ups, they would be on the guards. And people ask me, why on the guards? Because the guards are always in the double team. Always. If you put them on tackle, maybe they're not in the double team. The guards always are. Remember that. But those are my offensive abilities. That's what I'm rocking right now. Now, I'll tell you, offensively, it does change a little bit. I try different things. And one of my biggest problems, not problems, but uh, things I run up against is because I want to try stuff. I want to experiment. And then, uh, you know, but at the same time, I kind of know what's good. I kind of know what I like. So for you guys that ask abilities, I hope this video answered your question. I'm sorry it's not an action-packed video, but I, I this is a non-stop thing you guys want to know. And this is what, what I'm rocking and why I'm rocking it and why I like it and why I stick to it. One thing about Madden that I feel like you, when you guys play, even if you're the only one, I think you got to trust in what you believe, man. Don't The more trust you have, the more confidence you have in it the better you'll feel and even if you just feel better mentally it's going to make you play better man so uh, even if one of your thoughts none of your friends agree with you just stay true to what you believe man you know what's good you know what works for you uh, you might add some of the things that I told you about this video but whatever you got going on let me know in the comments and, and stay true to that but go ahead and try some of these things because I kind of know what thing or two I'm talking about. If you like this type of video, telling you little tips and tricks rather than gameplay, man, please hit the like button. We're closing in on 30,000 subscribers. Uh -huh.